Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Unbroken Bonds video. Today's Unbroken Bonds video, guys, we're going to be looking at the first meme deck. And this is going to be with the new Slowbro. So Slowbro is a very funny card. You do three strikes, flip three coins, there's 100 damage for each heads. Alright, sounds decent, not bad. It's a water type, so it counts as a way to deep beat Reshizard. And then you look at the secondary effect of the attack. If all three of them are tails, you lose the game. So if you get triple tails, you end up losing the game. Now, we do have Victini in the deck to kind of help us out. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be toying around with Slowbro here. We're going to see if we end up losing the game at all. Hopefully not. Uh, but we're just going to try and use Slow King or Slowbro as much as we can. And uh, we're going to see if we end up losing the game with three strikes. And, uh, you know what? Three strikes can actually be okay. If you get three heads, you can actually take out most tag teams, which is kind of hilarious. So we're going to test out Slowbro here as a funny meme deck. Again, not to be taken too seriously, but uh, it's the first meme card we've seen in a while, and we're going to try it out. Before we get into today's PDCGO video, though, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. If you're ever looking for any PDCGO codes for any set, whether it be Team Up or uh, Unbroken Bonds, if you're still looking for those Unbroken Bonds codes for... Uh, your collection you still want to get unbroken bonds packs uh, car caverns got them and they also have other codes for other things too like trainer kits elite trainer boxes uh gx codes are there too so all those stuff you can get over at car cavern tcg when you buy something from car cavern tcg guys of course you can use code ldf and get a five percent discount on your order so uh shout out to car cavern tcg and uh yeah code ldf you go and order something from there so slow bro is all about the memes again three strikes it's not a great attack uh, it is hilarious that you can knock out a tag team if you get all three heads. Just like, you got you get three heads, you can take a big knockout on a tag team. If you get three tails, you just straight up lose the game. So we're going to try and knock it three tails. Uh, again, with Victini's ability, Victory Star, we can at very least reflip. If we happen to actually get triple tails, we can use Victini's ability, Victory Star, to then try and uh, go back into our favor. And then hopefully just knock it six tails in a row. I mean, that would be unfortunate. So we're going to try and meme with Slowbro as much as we can uh, and just see if we end up losing the game. Some other things in the deck I have decided to pair with Quagsire. I didn't really know what to run it with. There isn't really any other card I could think to put with Slowbro other than just running some Quagsires as like a backup attacker. Uh, Quagsire with Hydro Pump can be really good. Again, with Slowbro, interestingly enough, three strikes um, can do a decent amount of damage. Two heads for 200 isn't shabby. You can knock out a few GXs. If you get three heads, you can take out every tag team in the format, basically. Um, which is kind of insane. Like, you can one-shot a Wailord Magikarp if they don't have, a, like, a tool on it to give it more HP. Uh, but again, if you get those Tails, you lose. So just having Quagsire for backups nice. We do get to use this new Quagsire. I still have a few Quagsire decks I want to look at. I still want to look at Quagsire Wailord updated. And I also still want to look at uh, Quagsire with Kirim at some point. But we do have this new Fighting Quagsire, which has Surf, which can one-shot a uh, Pikaram in one hit. You can also one-shot Zorak GX. So this new Quagsire is actually kind of good. I also am going to be running Volcanion in here. And since we are using DCs in the deck, I'm actually going to be running a Nine Tails here just as a way to win games sometimes. Sometimes the opponent doesn't have a way to stop uh, Luminous Barrier, or if they do, it's like a couple Guzmas. But no GXs are in our deck, so um, we're not going to be worrying too much about that. We're just going to be trying to win the game with Luminous Barrier. Again, there's no GXs in here, so we're just going to be seeing if uh, our opponent can beat nine tails and the only way to get in play is through ditto ditto is here obviously is like a whooper a slow uh, a slow poke and then also you know victini and uh, again we do have slow king this is now like the actual like good slow poke evolution card people are hyping up right now because this card can counter reshizard with a triple acceleration energy with psychic doing 60 plus 20 more damage for each energy and points active uh, what we're going to be trying to do with Psychic is also have it as a nice beat stick attack. We can also use Memory Melt in a cool way if our opponent has like a couple cards in their hand and they're in a tough spot with no draw support. We can Memory Melt them. Cool. And uh, that's basically it for the Pokemon. Going to the items now. We got three Aqua Patches, two Wish of Batons, eight Waters. Again, with Slowbro, you don't have to use um, Wish of Baton because you can just go Water DC and you're not, not going to save that much energy when it gets knocked out. So, uh, we don't have to go crazy on the water recovery cards. Obviously, there's no Naganadel in here. Uh, we can also still use Quagsire, though, with water energy DC. So, that's why I'm not too worried about running low on energy. Wish Baton is really good with Prism Star Volk instead. So, that's kind of why I don't really care too much about um, playing, like, super crazy on the Aqua Patches. Because, again, mo most of these Pokemon can attack with DC, which I like. 
Uh, we got four nest balls along with our three brooklets, four ultra balls to search for a Pokemon, one stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Debatably, you can play two. Uh, we got three brooklets, obviously. Uh, Shrine of Punishment would also be really nice in here if you want to run like a couple shrines again, you can. Now for our supporters, we got four Cynthia, one Erica, four Lily, two Guzmas, your standard stuff. For my tools, I've gone with two choice bands. Uh, choice band, again, just doing that extra damage can be really good on like nine tails. You don't really need it with Slowbro. To be fair, choice band Slowbro does do 230, which can one shot a couple more things like Zork GXs uh, and even Gardevoir GX. Two Wish Batons, again, this is mainly here to keep recovering energy for like when we attack with Volk. Four DCEs, again, mostly everything can use a DC in this deck outside of the Volcanian, so it's like it's fine to play DC. Even triple energy can be really nice in here too if you want to run one of those. And then eight water energies to round out the energy count. I know eight's a lot, but again, with this deck, you want to be building up energy regardless. So this is my Quagsar Slowbro deck. We don't need Whaler Carp in here, by the way, if some people are like, where's Whaler Carp? We don't need it. We literally only play eight waters anyways. And uh, we don't need Whaler Carp in here. The only other attackers you can run in here potentially is the other Volk with Dual Pump. That's really about it. So uh, let's go get in some matches with the uh, Slowbro meme deck. And we're going to try and attack with Slowbro as much as we can. It's actually the best attacker in this deck outside of the Volk because, again, three heads can knock out most tag teams. So uh, this card might actually be the best card to use. So, all right, let's get into those matches. All right, guys, we're about to go fly in some games with Slowbro here. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm sure we're going to get into an, a situation where uh, we actually don't have Victini in play and we kind of have to attack to like take the knockout. So I'm sure we will get in a position where we actually won't have Victini and it's going to be all down to just not getting three tails. As soon as I see my boy Totodile's beautiful face, I know we're not going to lose. That's all I care about. Um, again, not a competitive deck. It's just a funny meme. We're actually up against Gardevoir Sylveon. So if we can get... Uh, three heads we can actually just one shot them which is awesome so let's see how we do we're gonna get the ditto whooper start um there could be a whimsicott deck though too uh, i think i still start with ditto here i don't really care about that actually if we just drop an alola nine tails on them i actually don't think they have a way to win so maybe i shouldn't have started with this just in case i might just retreat it they actually might not have an answer to ditto and then they're gonna attack me next turn. Oh, no, they are. Okay, we probably need to retreat Ditto then and sacrifice Hooper. We need Ditto to turn into a Lola Nine Tails. Funny enough, though, like we have a Lola Nine Tails, which can possibly win us the game. We have Slowbro, which can possibly just one shot this Gardevoir Sylveon. So we actually have a few outs to this matchup. It's not that terrible. We'll see. Again, we don't have any GXs in this deck or anything, so we don't really have to worry too much about the prize trade. I actually do need to retreat this Ditto. I'm actually scared now that my opponent's going to try and knock it out. We'll see. I don't know if they're playing Custom Catcher or not. They might have a Guzma in their hand, though. I'm a little worried Ditto goes down. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of... S I mean, Soul King can do a chunk of damage, but they wanted the damage on them that much because of the effects. I don't really care too much for that. I am going to get Slow Poke, though. Yeah, we're not going to need Slow King. I did just get rid of a Victini. I need to keep these Ultra Balls, though, or at least one of them, so I can grab Nine Tails. We really need an energy here to retreat, which we do get. We'll break, put down the other Slow Poke. We'll, we'll go into Slow Poke, and I really just got to hope that they don't KO me here. What is that? Not a great start. Uh, we actually didn't get any Pokemon. There's no Oranguru in this deck. I guess it's something I forgot to put in. There's Oranguru. I guess it's something you can add. And alright, they're gonna knock me out, and I'm pretty sure I didn't prize the Nine Tails. I checked my deck when I Ultra Balled, and I did see it. So we are going to grab a Lola Nine Tails here, and I'm hoping that can win us the game. So Ultra Ball away Quagsire and Whooper. And we shall grab the Alola Nine Tails. Now they might play, like, maybe they have Xerneas Prism Star. That's really all I can think of that they would have. Uh, what is Pass? All we need is a water energy. We have seven. Still have all our supporters. Probably should put a Ranguru in here. I kind of regret not having that. Might just add a Ranguru after this match. So if they want, they can maybe do like Magical Miracle. But again, if they don't have a direct answer to Ninetales, we don't have to worry too much. We'll see if they play Xerneas Prism Star though. They obviously will have the answer to Guzma my Slowpoke. Which is fine. Oof. Okay, that's not a that's not a water energy. We need an energy here to start attacking my opponent. We didn't get one. We can stretch her, but I don't need to get anything back. There's a nest ball. Uh oh, that might get that Xerneas. If it gets some Xerneas, we'll see. 
No, let's read this. They're playing this Magius. Now I have high doubts they have uh, Xerneas. Then. All they can really do is Fairy Song. They can build up for Magical Miracle. Makes me wish I played a Rangaroo now. I might just throw it in after this deck. I don't like editing the decks mid-video when I already recorded the part where I talk about like what like the deck explanation part of the video. And there's an energy. All right. But I might have to do it because we are. Um, I don't know. I feel like this deck could use a Rangaroo. Probably should use a Ranguru or Marshadow or Zeb Striker or something. So I'm probably just gonna do that after. Again, this is a meme deck. It's not too serious. I don't really care too much. I mean, my opponent has access to Ace Rollas, Max Potions, probably, to heal, but like, if they can't damage me, then there's no point of them really doing anything. They might GX me here. They'd have to, like, GX Enhanced Hammer me and then, like, knock me out. But that, even then, that wouldn't work because, you know, we have this. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is for GXs, right? Yes, we can still damage him. Good. So, yeah, they're going for the GX. No damage. I have no cards in my hand. Doesn't matter, though. We can still attack them. We can still put pressure on my opponent. And as long as they don't have Xerneas Prism Star or... There's no other fairy type I can really think of. Even if they have, like, a Gardevoir and they play, like, one Ralts that can do 10 damage, it's not going to matter because I can still knock them out in one hit with Orby. The only way they can win is if I just bench stuff, and I'm not going to do that. So, I don't have to worry about this too much. Should win this game. I hate to use a little Nine Tails because it's not really, like... Yeah, they can take it. I'm going to add a Narangaroon. Ooh! 100 coins. I love to see it. Yeah, I didn't mean to use a little nine tails that much there. Obviously, this is a slow bro deck, but let's be honest, when you're given the situation. All right, I'm going to edit the deck mid video. I know I don't like doing this, but I need to add an Oranguru. What will I get rid of, though? I, I might just discard a Nest Ball. Actually, no, I'm going to cut a Victini. Yeah, we'll cut a Victini. I don't know how I feel about that in the long run. Makes the meme more alive. Yeah, we're just going to cut a Victini. We don't need two Victinis. They kind of just fill up space. Oh, there we go. We need to add an Oranguru to the deck. Or a Marshadow, but I think Oranguru is better. We're going to put the Oranguru in. Nice thing about Oranguru is we can actually attack with it because it uses DC. Kind of a no-brainer why I didn't have it in before, but we added it, and I don't really care if I edit the video mid-thing. But yeah, we just beat a Gardevoir Sylveon deck. That's like the first time I beat a Gardevoir Sylveon deck. Every time I play against it, they just tank so hard, and it, it's not fun. All right, let's see what we're up against next. Ooh, Zapdos. With a deck like this, I feel like you just want to play against GXs, um, not Zapdos. Zapdos is probably going to be a tougher matchup for us. It could be a Pikaram deck, though, with Mars Shadow. Like, the odds of it is, is you know, it's not too low. Alright. Pretty decent start. Uh, we can get the Slowpoke in the active, Double Wooper, we have Prism Star Volk. Don't need to play the down right away. Okay, let's see. We'll see if it's Zapdos. I hope it's Pikaram so I can uh, one-shot Pikaram with Slowbro. That'd be amazing. No, it's Zapdos. Unless they're using Pikaram with Zipstrika. That is a potential possibility. Zapdos is not a good matchup, though, for sure. I don't think this deck can beat Zapdos. Another Slowpoke. We'll put that down. There's a Coco start. So we'll see what happens here. We can do a Lily. We don't know what to attach to, though, unfortunately, because we get knocked out by Zapdos. Ooh, they're playing Sky Pillar in the deck. So they really don't want to see Weezing. They really don't. Weezing is so busted, man. I, I've been playing a lot of Weezing just to, like... It's kind of my go-to ladder grinding deck right now in Standard because it's just... People, like, sometimes will auto-concede because they just don't want to play against you. Um, and I like playing Weezing as a way just to grind out wins on PDCGO. And it does grind me out wins. I've actually won a few games with it. All right, there's a Cynthia... So I might just attach to one of these slow pokes. Don't need to put them asleep, obviously, but if they get knocked out, I can get Arcus Hawker Power. So that can be an extra way to get energy and play next turn. So it might be good to attach an energy. I probably will put the Volk down. It is good to attack with this guy, though it can't one shot zap those. But it won't get hit for weakness. The only thing it'll get hit by is a strike a maybe this. Alright, they're gonna escape rope. Again, I don't think they're gonna play it though. There's Zapdos. So they're guaranteed a knockout next turn. Alright, what do we draw? Can we do the energy? We'll attach the active. We'll Lily. We got the Brooklyn Hill. 
I will play it. I'm. A, he's definitely gonna take a prize here, so I might as well play it. Get another slow bow down. Slow bro. Slow. Slow boy. Uh, what choice man? The bolt. Oh, yawn. Might as well force him to a skateboard, maybe. Okay, that worked. Well, I mean, he has the escape rope. We'll give up a slow poke here. You get my point. And the next turn, we can attack with slow bro. And then just pray that we don't get triple tails. Uh, maybe we can go Volk, too. Volk could maybe attack if we can. We get Quagsire and Aqua Patches and stuff, maybe. That'll be a good goal. Sorry, by the way, if you can hear the um, iMessage pinging text noise. Um, again, with MacBooks, the problem is, is when I have uh, the in-game audio recording software on, it picks up whenever I get a text on my message app on my MacBook. It's really annoying um, that it picks up the noise. I, and I can't really, like, delete iMessage off of my uh, MacBook. So that's why you hear that pinging noise. So I do apologize if that ends up annoying you at all. Ooh, that sky pillar is a little annoying because we can't do sauna blast. Okay, they're building up these of Strika. They're gonna go zap that. So they're gonna knock out my slow poke with the energy on it, which is a little annoying. I was hoping they would not do that. And we gotta keep bringing in the slow pokes. I mean, this matchup is just garbage. So it's not like, not like I was expecting to win this. Obviously, get rid of Lily. I think get the slow bro. We do have three aqua patches. Slowbro should survive a turn too. Like I'm not expecting to get KO'd at the very least. Well, Cynthia could do Jet Geyser too, but I don't want to. All right, we were not able to find Quagsire Aqua Patch, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Um, can't even yawn him. Sorry, by the way, if you heard that, if you hear that iMessage noise. Ooh, they have the escape rope, so I think we just nest ball for maybe another. Whooper here and just give him a whooper. Kind of annoying that we have to play against Zapdos. I was hoping Zapdos would fall to play. Zapdos is annoying to play against sometimes because it's like it, 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 it's too fast and it makes like evolution decks not work. I hate Zapdos. Just just want to put that out there. I don't like Zapdos. If they knock out slow, bro. I'm gonna cry because man, you're not even gonna let me. You're not even gonna let me attack, bro. Like come on. How could you? You're already playing a deck that is too busted and you, you're 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 gonna double electro power knock me out like. How rude is that? That's like the rudest thing you could do. And then we gotta hope we hit Quagsire DCE Aqua Patch. And he's gonna knock me out. How could you, bro? What did Slow Pro ever do to you? What a jerk! What a jerk. How could you? What did Slow Bro ever do to you? That's that's a that's a that's a move, man. That is, that's so mean. How could you? You're already playing the sweaty deck. Alright, well stretcher. Shuffle back. Slowpoke, slowpoke, slow bro. We unfortunately have to play we have to find a DC. We actually have to find quite a bit here. <coughs> Not liking the odds of this. <sighs> Nothing. Nada. I don't know how we haven't found a Quagsire yet though, if I'm be honest. Okay, we're just gonna play the water and Gion and we're just gonna yawn him. I know he has a skate rope, but we're still gonna do it. Mix up anyways. He has two more Electro Powers. I mean, I don't know what to say. You're playing one of the most sweatiest decks you can play. And you're not even giving me a chance to do an attack that might just give you a free ladder win. Come on, bro. Like, that that's... Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I'm not being serious. Like, I'm not actually... But you know what I mean. Like, come on. You're, you're already playing, like, the sweatiest of all decks. And, and you can't even let me... You can't even let me potentially do a meme attack. I don't even have Victini on my, on my bench. If I get three tails, I give you a free ladder win. You're probably going to win the game anyways, bro. You're... you're, you're I'm, I'm not going to lose the game. I'm not going to win the game at this point. Like... I've accepted that. All right. Uh, hopefully we can get a supporter here. I guess we can go Ranguru, which is fine. Try and draw some cards. Okay, now he has given me the chance to meme it up with three strikes. Finally, my opponent is letting me do this. Only three prizes later, because that's Zapdos. It takes so many prizes. All righty then. Well, Nest Ball, I'm not even gonna get a Ranguru. I don't even have a ring in the deck. I don't even think I need to grab anything. I might as well just bench Slowpoke. So, we are we don't have Victini in the deck, so we're going off with big strikes here. We gotta hope to knock him out. There's finally the first Quag. No Aqua Patch, though. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay. Here we go. Big strikes. 
Okay, we didn't knock him out, but he, we can always finish him off with Sonic Blast. But we did not lose the game. I saw two tails. Yeah, woo, that was close. Yeah, yes, sir. That that was indeed very, very close. That, that was a very, very close. Very close call. For me, that was close, man. I saw the two tails, and I was like, well, we just lost. That's cool, though. At the very least, we got 100 damage on him. And again, we can come in with Sauna Blast to knock him out next turn, maybe, if we can get everything rolling. Hopefully, Sobro survives. He can go Tapu Koko GX here, knock me out, and he is. Wish I had a Wish of Baton on right now. Maybe experience share is better than the Baton. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Our game plan now is to, once again, try and attack with Slowbro. It's possible. We just need to find our Aqua Pouches. Alright, what do we draw? Okay, there's a Baton. We can attach that. We can Brooklyn Hill. Get the slow thing out of the deck. I'm not actually... Yeah, well... I'm not going to attach the water. I can hit double Aqua Patch, but we also still have our DC. If we just hit Aqua Patch DC, we're good. And we did it. Wow, we just cannot chain attacks here today. We just cannot chain attacks today with slow with slow bro. That's unfortunate. I guess we just yawn him then. I guess we just hit him with a yawn. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I guess next turn we get attack with Sauna Blast. We barely got to use slow bro. We just got really unlucky. We weren't able to hit our aqua patches like in the right hands. Oh, he's actually gonna give me a second chance. Thank you. you. You've given me a second chance. I like it a lot. Ah, never mind. He's gonna win anyways. Cause I was gonna say, he knocks me out with Coco. And maybe we can, like, have a potential shot of not getting destroyed here. But, doesn't matter. He still can. Um, hopefully I can just draw an energy. Cause, honestly, I would love to just knock out Coco. With a Guzma play. We're gonna bring in the Volk. I really just want to draw an energy here. Which we do. Alright, nice. We'll just Guzma the Coco. He still has game because he has a stretcher in his hand. He, he has Coco Prism. So, he does win the game here no matter what. Um, but I, I just want to meme on him and see if we can get the meme rolling. Memes! Don't ever let your memes be dreams. Alright, here we go. Double heads? Nope. Ah. Only one head. Well, that sucks. We tried to meme on him. We tried to meme on my opponent a little bit. Um, we had a couple turns where we could have used Slowbro a little bit more, but we just weren't able to really get the Aqua Patch combo we needed. But overall, we tried with the deck. That was actually kind of fun. Only two attacks with Slowbro, and we only got one head, but it's better than getting three tails, so you can't complain too much. There you go. Memes. Don't let your memes be dreams, guys. All right, I'll see you guys in another match. All right, guys, let's go get into another match here. Hopefully, we can get three heads and knock out a tag team. That'd be great. Uh, I haven't run into a tag team deck, though, since our little Gardevoir matchup. So, we'll see. All right, we're going for heads. You let us down, Toe Dow. One of the problems of having this deck is just keeping energy in place. Slowbro only has 120 HP. So, keeping energy in play can be tough. Uh, we do start with that slow poke. We do have Ultra Ball. We can draw an energy here. We can Aqua Patch. That's not too bad. See what kind of deck my opponent's running. Ooh, they're playing a water deck. This might be Blastoise. I saw the rare candy. Blastoise is interesting. We could still one shot Blastoise, I think, with all three heads because we're doing 300 damage. We'll see if we get to pull that off. At least with Blastoise, it's going to take him a little bit to set up, which is cool. And we get to draw five extra cards. Holy, and I somehow didn't get a single basic there. Well then. I actually don't think I'll shuffle my hand back. I don't know if Blastoise plays Marshadow. Hey, thanks for the Brooklyn Hill. We have a pretty good hand. We have a lot to do here, thankfully. There's a Crasher Wake. Interesting card to play. Something I never thought of was Crasher Wake and Blastoise. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to revisit Blastoise and play like a Crasher Wake engine. That's actually kind of smart. Let's see. Alright, we aren't getting Marsh Shadow, so we have Redemption. Well, Ultra Ball away. Which I don't know. I guess the Lily can go. Probably doesn't have to do Cynthia here. 
this hand is just massive. We'll get the whooper. Go here, Brooklet for another Slowpoke. Play the baton on. We'll Aqua Patch to the Slowpoke. To be honest, I think I just hold the hand. We have the Ultra Ball next turn for Quagsire if he does go Rare Candy Blastoise, which he 100% did get off of that Crash or Wake. So, I think I'm going to hold the hand. We have an alright hand here. We can Baton to the Whooper too, and then just hope that we get DC and whatever. We should be okay. If we can knock out Blastoise with three heads, I'm going to laugh. But again, we're sitting on that clock where we uh, might not get... We might not get the win, because we might just get three tails and lose the game. So we also... Probably need to hit a nest ball here to get Victini. That'd be great. So Blastoise is pretty bulky. Unfortunately for him, though, uh, if I get three heads, I still KO him. But yeah, I never considered Crash or, Crash or Wake with Blastoise. I never considered that. I don't think anyone did. Everyone was like a Lola Nine Tails was the big thing that you play Blastoise with. I don't like a Lola Nine Tails with Blastoise. It's just a liability on your bench. That's why I didn't play it. But I never thought of that idea. Okay, so Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of Water Choice Band, I guess. I don't know. It's a tough one. Oh, we only have one Slowbro in the deck, so we gotta make this count. Gotta make this count. Really hope we can find a DC at the very least. Uh, we'll put down the Volk, I guess. We can maybe try to put him to sleep if like, it comes down to it, but I don't know if this will work. We do not hit the DCE. I guess we just have to play the water energy. That's fine. I'm actually Ranguru or Victini. I think I'm, I prefer Victini. If I can get three heads and knock him out, we're actually going to be in an all right spot. Fortunately, though, we're going to be out of energy when we get knocked out here, so this is not very good. We don't have a Wish of Baton. Now I'm starting to regret not having Wish of Baton in this deck, but whatever. Three strikes. We got potentially... Oh, no. We got three tails? No! No! I saw the double heads and I was like, yo, we about to just knock him out. Oh no, slow bro. Okay, the actual good news is, if he doesn't get a Blastoise in play with Rare Candy, he doesn't have enough energy in play to knock me out. Dang it. I was like, all right, triple tails, lose the game. Uh, ooh, an ace roller. All right, that's fine. Again, we can still one shot him. It's not the end of the world. Could have been worse. Dang it. I'm like, triple tails, we got this. And then we didn't get it. Dang it. Victini, though, saved our lives. If I didn't get the Victini, if I just got a Ranguru and was like, alright, let me just draw an extra card or two, that would not have happened, and we would have lost the game. Slow King, it's not really doing much in this matchup. We'll Choice Ban you, and uh, go three strikes. Well then. Just gotta hope he still doesn't hate Rare Candy. Alright, what's our prize? Hopefully a supporter, Ultra Ball, that can get us a Ranguru if he does knock me out. We don't have any energy in play yet. This is the problem, we don't have any energy in play. Do not have Rare Candy Blastoise, please do not have it. He might just bubble me. Oh, he's going for Cynthia, alright, good. Don't get Rare Candy Blastoise off of that, please, 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 please. Let me, let me enjoy my one slow bro in my deck and uh, let me meme on you. Let me meme. Do not get the Rare Candy Blastoise. Let me live. There's an Aqua Patch. He might retreat. He could also bubble me. We'll see what he does. If he doesn't have a Candy Blastoise. Don't have it. Yes! He actually didn't do bubble. Okay. Still not really drawing very well here. I think I just Ultra Ball then. Then out the deck. Um, get the Oranguru. I kind of want to get a little Ninetales. He might not have a direct answer to that. Three strikes. Oh. Double heads, let's, I'll take it. Slow bro is running over these little squirtles. I like to see it. All right, come on. We need an energy or support or something. Not, not helping. I can't even play that. I might have to evolve into Slow King. It's not gonna do any damage though because he's gonna have like no energy on him. We're only gonna be doing what thirty damage to him. Don't have Hurricane Blastoise. Erica, that's gonna get him the Hurricane Blastoise. Well, Slow bro is finished. Slow bro is probably finished here. He just conceded. Yo, we just got our dub with Slowbro because my opponent just couldn't find Blastoise. Um, 
Yeah, he did have this. So I guess if we did go low on nine kills, it wouldn't matter. But it would have forced him to do a different murder candy. So we got really lucky there that uh, we were able to meme on him. We almost got triple heads. We got the triple tails. If we didn't have Victini in play, we would have lost the game. So that was a close call. But we almost got triple heads. That would have been just so epic if we got it. I hope we get one game where we get triple heads. Alright, what do we have against now? Dragonfish. Okay, so the one issue I am running into this deck is just not having energy in play. So see if we're able to keep it up. We do win the coin flip. I think we're up against Pikaram here. We might get a chance to do the triple heads play, hopefully. Got a whooper start, not a terrible start. It's actually a decent hand. We can attach, retreat, do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Brooklyn Hill for slow poke. I'm glad I didn't, didn't get greedy though without a Ranguru. Ooh, he's playing Zark or Ninja. This makes things even inter more interesting. I'd say we prized. Not much. Okay, so we do have that fighting Quagsire, which we can potentially show off here. Uh, we'll attach. I guess we'll Cynthia. I could have Ultra Ball too. I think I'd rather just do Cynthia. Oof. We didn't really get much off of that to help us. Not great. Hopefully we'll get Marsh Shadowed here. We do have that fighting Quagsire though, with a choice band or like soften him up, we can take him out in one hit. That'd be pretty good. So we have a couple ways to deal with Zork or Ninja. We can get three heads, or we can knock him out with the fighting Quagsire. We just need a better hand. Our hand sucks right now. Uh, I don't think he'll knock me out this turn though. Pretty sure he can't. We should be safe, unless he like somehow pulls off like a Darkrai or something. You could like Darkrai, discard it, energy switch. That would be pretty bad. We'd have to go Yawn. If he ends up pulling that off. I hope he doesn't. I, well, I, or she doesn't. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I can never tell. But we gotta hope that my opponent isn't able to do that. We're getting the good memes in. We're getting those memes in. We have not yet lost the game because of Triple Tails. Because we had Victini in play. Victini saved us there against Blastoise. Man, I'm still upset I didn't get Triple Heads there. Because I was like, Double Heads? Oh my gosh. We're about to go from Triple Tails to Triple Heads. Ooh. They have four darks in their hand just from the energy spinners. I don't know what they're going to do with all that energy, though. It's not going to help them if they're trying to do Lily. Ooh, they're going to Ingo and Emmett dump their entire hand. Oh, my gosh. And I was scared they would have that dark cry, and they did. We might actually get KO'd here. Well, they're only drawing five. The odds they get an energy switch, especially because they just discarded, is pretty low, I guess. So, uh, I don't know. Whooper might be safe here. Yes. Do not get a Poipo, get a Mars Shadow, please. Give me a Mars Shadow so I can get a new hand. I don't like this hand. Come on, I want to see that Mars Shadow. Mars Shadow me. No, that's not Mars Shadow. That's a Lele. I guess Lele is a good target too. We just need two heads to kill it. So it's a little bit more reasonable than getting three heads. Ooh, treasure again. They're going to get rid of the Lele. All right, get a Mars Shadow. Yes, they're going to give me a new hand. I love it. Now we just got to hit Lily and more supporters and we're good new hand i like to see it. I don't think a new hand would give us a knockout with, or let us attack with our, uh, our, uh, slow king just yet. They might end up knocking me out, though, which is a problem. If they hit energy switch here, we know they have a Mars Shadow. I really hope they don't have energy switch. Are you serious? They actually do have it? Bro, get out of here. That's a joke. <sighs> this Gotta be kidding me. Alright, come on. Give me a new hand. Good things. Alright. I'll take it. It's not great, but I'll take it. I'm not really worried about this matchup too much, because again, we do have that, like, fighting option to knock him out too, so... Even though he's putting on a lot of pressure with us, because somehow he was able to hit that energy switch, we're not in the worst spot. Another Ultra Ball. Is he gonna Marsh out on me again? Is he gonna do another Marsh out of Nope. I was hoping he would, because his hand still sucks. But at the very least, we can still accumulate a decent amount of energy in play. Gonna do Danny. She like trying to deck herself though. That's that's what it's looking like. She's gonna deck herself out at this point. No. Nah. All right. Now what are they gonna do? They're gonna bump my stadium. Oh, that not even that's even worse. How dare you do that to my whooper? Here I was saying they're not going to KO me, and they just had like this OP start. Alright, I'm going to have to bring in Slowpoke. Try and put him to sleep. The OP Cynthia top deck. Alright, we'll discard two waters. Um. I 
I might even just get Nine Tails and just retreat into it, buy some time. It doesn't look like my opponent has an answer to it. Looks like once again, Nine Tails is the savior. Oh, we have a two retreat cost. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it looks like Nine Tails might save us again. They might have Naganadel. They probably do. They play Treasure and you know Brainer did not have it. Poipels can get KO by Orbeam though. And there's another Whooper. So we can retreat, go into Nine Tails, which we will do. Play down you. We'll pass. I don't think Nine Tails will live the whole game. They probably have Naganadel. My goal here is to just maybe buy some time. They probably have Guzma. They've only played one, so they probably have a Guzma KO here. We'll see. We'll see if Nine Tails can buy us some time. Let us build up some energy. But again, that Fighting Quagsire is also gonna gonna be the uh, MVP here. If we get to use it. If not, we can save it for another video. We're actually gonna Giovanni's Exile. Okay, that's fine. They're probably just gonna get rid of Darkrai into Dene, I'm guessing. Because they can do all their Darkrai, get a bunch more energy in play. And to be fair to my opponent, they have been able to build up a ton of energy here. With their Darkrai, which is kind of nuts. But it's not the end of the world. Because now they're actually gonna have no room for any... Like, Poipoles or anything. If they go quad dark right here. They could do Dead End. I don't think Dead End works, though. But I guess they also do have, um... They do... They might be playing one copy of Koga. So we'll see. We do have Guzma. We have... Just Retreat. We only have one Retreat cost on the end of the world. As long as this guy stays alive, we'll be good. Now is her support for the turn, so I can't play Guzma. Or Cynthia. Or Lily. Or Erica's Hospitality. And they concede the game. Once again, Alolan Ninetales forcing the soft concedes from the opponent. We actually are able to open up some packs here, which we'll do. We'll do. We haven't been able to do too much slow, slow bro memes. We've attacked with it a couple times, and it's been okay. That, unfortunately, that does match up. Kind of sucks, we could have knocked out Coco there. Speaking of Coco, we're almost out of Coco. But we can open up some Unbroken Bonds packs here and hopefully pull some goodies. The pull rates on Unbroken Bonds are just not very good. So I'm not expecting too much. I think the last thing I pulled was Rainbow Rare Monk. Ooh, Reverse All Porygon. That's not bad. I do have plans to do some Porygon Z videos in the near future. Um, I want to try out Porygon Z Whimsicott. And speaking of which, we got a Porygon 2. Reverse Hollow to follow up with, and we got a Tank Grove. So, yeah, pretty useless packs. As expected, the pull rates in our Broken Bonds are not very good. So, let's go do another game. So, currently, Slowbro has been attacking. Slowbro has been putting the memes on. But actually, we're winning games because Alolan Ninetales is in play. So, that's kind of funny. Ooh, we're up against a Grass deck. This might be Lost March, but they don't have Lightning or Colorless, so... I highly doubt it. It's looking more like it's going to be Buzzmosa, which, if we can get three heads, we can win the game. But I think Slowbro is weak to grass, so there's the problem. And they're actually going to let me go first. Good thing Slow uh, Poke has 70 HP. This is also why I like having that Psychic Slowbro, or Psychic Slowpoke, sorry, because it actually can kind of allow you to live the turn. So, what I'm guessing here is we have to just get really lucky with our triple heads. Oh, the whooper start. Oof. Pretty miserable start. We get Slowpoke down. I guess, which isn't bad. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can draw a Lily, because we can Lily for a decent chunk here. Yeah, I'll take the Aqua Patch. It's not too bad. We will get ourselves Slowpoke. What? Yo, we prized three Slowpokes? What? Yo, what do you mean, brother? Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, I can also drop maybe the Alola Ninetales on them, but the only thing with that. I'm actually not gonna play the Aqua Patch. The only problem with the Alola Ninetales is not only does he have an access to kill with Big Cut, he might just be playing the new. Um, might as well play down Ring Guru. My opponent might be. I'm kind of, I'm kind of regretting not doing the, the Aqua Patch because I can just Guzma Slowbro next turn. Uh, but the problem is, is 
they might be playing there's a new supporter that like goes through the effects of um the attacks oh oh is he just playing carton then oh never mind but yeah there's a uh new supporter that allows tag team pokemon or oh why can't i talk to it? there's a new supporter that allows ultra beast pokemon to go through hoopa and nine tails so they might just have that but it doesn't look like they're even playing buzz moments because they have a shrine of punishment they have Lele, so yeah, it's definitely not a buff most attack. Which is a little bit more, you know, I'm a little more happy to see that. Though not gonna lie, part of me did, did want to have a game where we just, like, meme them with Slowbro and it got three heads. Uh, well, the Airplane Ultra Beast, they have Nile Higo. Maybe this is a Slowbro, I, I don't know. Maybe this is a, a thing, I don't know. They do have Kartana, though. I know that much. They have B-String and Nile Higo, so maybe this is a, a, a deck that uses... Osmosa, I don't know. Is he gonna do Miss Magius here? I doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see if they do. They're gonna Ultra Ball. If they do, we get a prize, which I like. Get Whooper out of harm's way. If they knock themselves out, though. They can knock me out with Kartana, maybe. Ooh, they're gonna Marsh out of me. Yes, please. Do it, do it. Give me a new hand. That's twice now in this video where our opponent's given us a new hand with Marsh out of. When our hand sucked. Bless you, Light Loose. Everyone complains about it. Ooh, okay, we got the Volk. We got a Brooklyn Hill to bump the stadium. And maybe I don't want it because Lele's taking kick damage here. But I guess you need the Shrine of Punishment with our Kartana. What's our prize going to be? Lily? Alright, so we got the DC, so we can go in with Slowbro. Potentially, if he knocks me out. She would need to do another Dust Dome as Magius to get a big cut work. If not, she's only doing 10, unless she, like, I don't know, dropped a beast energy on, but that can't happen anymore, so I'm pretty sure we're safe. Yeah, we live. Wooper is a tank. And right, what do we draw? Alright, another supporter. I will take it. We'll Brooklet for... We have to get another Wooper. Poison and you. We'll go for Lily. Keep the hand if we can. We'll attach. We'll Aqua Patch. And we'll pass. So we'll lose our Wooper. We'll have another Wooper though. Then we can DC um, to Slowpoke and then try and go for a big Slowbro play. We have Victini in place, so hopefully we don't get knocked out. My opponent might have a Guzma energy here though. With the Miss Magius play, they can knock out Slowbro that or Slowpoke that way. We'll see though if they do. I'm curious to see if they're going to be relying on the Shrine False Swipe combo to KO me, or they're going to be relying on something else. Oh, shoot. They're actually just going straight for the Volk. Uh-oh. That ain't good. I'm going to have to take a pause on using Slowbro. They'd have to do, like, Koga and False Swipe to KO me, so yeah, we should be safe, right? Unless he goes Beast Energy Big Cut, that could knock me out. Oh, they're going for Koga. They do play it. No. Dang it, dude. I wanted to use my Prison Star Volk because this is really good in this matchup, but it's it's not going to happen. We Now we got to rely on the Slowpoke team. The Slowbro dreams. Can we get a Slowpoke out the prizes? We do. That's good to see. We prized so many of them somehow. Could have been worse. I guess I could have prized the Slowbros, and then we would have nothing really to attack with. All right. I'm praying that we do not get KO'd here. They also have the hit heads on false swipe, and I don't know if they're playing Victini. I saw only Grass and Psychic. They might just hit a Beast Energy, though. Oh, they're going in with the Mangus again. They're giving me more prizes. So, I mean, we're going to win the game because we're taking more prizes than them. Uh, but we might have to do a Kartana video soon, guys, because false swipe uh, seems like a good, good way to de beat tag teams. Another Slowpoke, not bad. It's a good thing we don't have to do Lily. We have to go Cynthia. All right, there it is. They're doing B-String. So they can build up the False Swipe. They can also just go Beast Energy. Oh, no, they can't. Yeah, never mind. Hey, they can see the game. We didn't even get to use Slowbro. Oh. I don't know what to tell you guys. Slowbro is just too good. It's intimidating people, throwing them off, it's scaring them. We'll open up a pack. I think I'm going to wrap today's Peace Joe video here, guys. Uh, we got to use some Slowbro memes. We almost lost the game against Blastoise had we not have Victini. And we also almost lost the... Uh, we almost ended up losing a couple games. We did lose that Coco Zapdos game, unfortunately. 
um, but you can't really beat Zapdos. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good video, kind of fun, and, ooh, we got a Persian. Some people want me to do a Catterday deck, and I am thinking about it, but the Catterday attack is just so miserable. They're not that good. Um, but I do want to try it out eventually. But yeah, that'll wrap today's Peace Show video, guys. Slow bro, the king of memes himself, losing the game with three strikes. If you try out a slow bro deck, and if you lose the game with three strikes, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that'll wrap today's Peace Show video, guys. Sadly, we weren't able to use slow bro and take out a tag team GX Pokemon with triple heads. That would have been the best thing on the planet. But I'll wrap today's Peace Show video, guys. Leaving you guys here with those matches. I think it was a pretty fun and lit video. I am eventually going to be trying out the new Quagsire fighting type. We almost got to use it there. But yeah, that'll wrap today's Peace Show video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out Carcavin TCG in the description below. If you are looking for any codes for PDCGO, Carcavin is the place to get them. And again, guys, code LDF for that 5% discount if you do get codes over at Carcavin TCG. And I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good night. Bye.